Don't you just love it when you're just on your Android device doing something like talking to your significant other or stalking some people if that's your thing and then your phone suddenly stops working. Like it would just hang there, like stay there and then you, you like have no choice. You want to beat the shit out of it but then you realize like it's, it's your phone. It has been there for you all these times and it's expensive and all those lonely nights, all those days when no one really cared, your phone was there for you. And now you're beating him, that's, that's kind of sad, you shouldn't do it, then you get frustrated and you have nothing to do. Well, cutting the drama here, what's going on guys, it's the Android Guru here. Today I'm going to be giving you three tips to keep your phone from hanging. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. Alright guys, so the first tip is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is go over to your settings and scroll all the way down and you need to unlock this developer options. Now, in case you don't know how to do it, you just go to about device, then you go to software information and you go to your build number and tap it seven times. Now you can see it displays a little toast notification saying I'm already a developer, but you press it seven times and this new section will be unlocked called developer options on your settings menu. Just switch it on and scroll all the way down to animation settings. You'll see a window animator scale a transition animator scale and an animator duration scale now on stock Android devices they are set to 1x and I'll just explain so if you set the window animation scale to say let's uh, 5x and then you open it up you can see it comes up in a smooth way but it delays your Android device so I would suggest keeping all of these to 0.5x and then you'll realize how snappy and fast your Android device has become scrolling out of apps you know going into settings coming out of devices you can see that it has become much more faster and it's really an in-depth tip that you can just do with your Android device. Alright, tip number two is also pretty straightforward. Install a custom launcher, damn it! So go over to the Play Store and search for launchers. As you can see, I'll just zoom the camera in so you guys can see clearly. So just go to the Play Store and search for launchers and there are a ton of amazing launchers for you to download. So just search for it and you'll find a couple of launchers. All of them are good. It makes your device snappy and allows you to get customization features as well. So you know, win-win both ways. So. You can just see there are a lot of launchers. For me, I'm personally using Nova Launcher and even though I know my phone is fast because I have 3 gigabytes of RAM, but still TouchWiz isn't really my thing. And with Nova Launcher, I can add icon packs, I can change everything to the settings, screen grid, you know, the way your apps open, the transition scale, everything is possible with the help of launcher. So yeah, go ahead, download the launcher. They're small in size and help to make your Android device smoother. So what's not there? And of course, they are free. So like, you can see there are settings you can change a lot of things so you should just download one launcher and just just like download it for crying out loud yeah <laughs> so just download a launcher guys third tip here we go okay so the third and final tip is stop using task managers these applications like clean master and others do not help to make your android device smooth now for, let me just practically display it to you. So, uh, say you open a couple of applications, right? They're all running in the background in a multitasking tray. So, let's open Facebook and a couple of other applications in real quick succession. I'll explain what I'm trying to say. So, YouTube is running in the background. Google Chrome, say we, that's two running in the background. And let's just open like Airbrush. It's another application running in the background. Now, what you don't realize is when you boost your Android device, they basically kill the background process running in the background. And that might feel clear up some RAM. But when you open the application again, you're basically using it twice. So the twice amount of RAM is being consumed in closing it once and opening it again. So rather than making it faster, it's actually slowing your Android device up. So I hope I could explain it. Stop using these. Android OS can handle multitasking by itself. And that is pretty much it, guys. I hope, you guys, these tips will help you smooth your Android device and you could just have fun with it and stuff like that again if you guys like this video do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this this is Anbav here signing out i'll catch you guys next time have a good day guys see ya